The first person to popularize Zimbabwe was David Livingstone on 16 November 1855 when he set his sight first on the Victoria Falls, then known by the locals as Mosia Tunya. He described it as a scene that could only be witnessed by angels in their flight. Everybody knows the mighty Victoria Falls, and it is genuinely one of the seven wonders of the world. So I would really encourage people, if you haven't seen the Victoria Falls, it's something everybody has to see in their lifetime. The smoke that thunders, as it is known here. Where you have this interaction of human beings and wildlife, all living around a little town that comes together around a gigantic waterfall. It's, it's quite unique. I would say to people that haven't been to Zimbabwe, you have a wonderful treat and experience ahead of you. For me, it's got the best spectrum of biodiversity I've ever seen. And African communities here, they have learned to work with wildlife. They, they respect the wildlife. Wange National Park is actually one of the biggest uh, national parks in Africa uh, with the greatest concentration of elephants in the world. We have other great varieties of animal species in Wange, like zebras, impala, giraffe, buffaloes, um, bigger predators also like lions, and even uh, desert adapted antelopes like uh, oryx. This is the authentic African experience, seeing elephant walking just a few meters away from the tent. There are so many hidden gems in Zimbabwe that you wouldn't necessarily think of on your tourism map. Mana pools. Mana means four in the local Shana dialect. Four pools that are created when the Zambezi sort of comes over the floodplain and creates this beautiful little pools. The Matopos National Park, where you have these incredibly unusual landscapes. It's where Cecil John Rhodes chose to have his burial site, and I can see why. And probably the least known gem in Zimbabwe is the Eastern Highlands. There's lots of rivers and mountains and beautiful fauna and flora. Zimbabwe really is special and I would really encourage everyone to come to Zimbabwe. A world of wonders. I think the special thing about Meikle's Hotel is its pedigree. It has a long history and has been a central part of hospitality in this country. Predominantly, most of our clients are business travellers, but also, obviously, some of the leisure travellers who are passing through the capital city, Harare. 
on their way to other destinations in the country. There are too many opportunities. As I said, from agriculture, mining, tourism, now ICT. Effective uh, use of internet in Zimbabwe has helped a lot in terms of different industries. We can connect to different countries. Now students can come online and do their research. I mean, it's become the biggest driver of economic growth. 95% of Zimbabwe's population is under the age of 65. According to the Africa Development Bank, the disposable income or the per spend a day has risen 100% over the 20 years. And this is very unique to the setting of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a good investment destination. The time to do so is now. There's still so many opportunities that can be tapped into. It's a well-endowed country with natural resources, from minerals to people themselves. Zimbabweans are very hard-working people. They are born with that passion. I mean, wherever they go, they always shine. They always propel to the top. And it is now an opportunity for a lot of the people in the diaspora who are applying themselves over time to find out what's happening in their home country, come back home and make a difference and take the country to a next level. And people appreciate it. This is their own homegrown child who's coming here to make changes, imparting what he learned to help others and help develop the country and move it forward. With the energy that the youth have, if they just get investment, if they get the opportunities to work, to build things, I think we have a great future ahead of us. Oh, Zimbabwe in three words. Warm, vibrant, and honest. Uh, welcoming, uh, friendly. Beautiful, um, visual, very visual, very natural. You know, there's animals, there's the nature, there's the weather, beautiful weather. I feel like you have to be here to understand how different it is. We're very multicultural, um, we're very versatile, but there's an essence about it that you can only truly experience when you're here. It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon for people to come here and never leave. Zimbabwean is a special species, if I may say. A Zimbabwean is somebody who is characterized by his deeds. They are uniquely friendly and incredibly charming and just very inspiring people to get to know. Zimbabweans are one of the most educated in Africa. They're dynamic. They're just passionate. They're driven. Zimbabwe, like many African countries, is different. It's got its own geographic dynamics. The opportunity is the ability to be able to spot the strategic challenges and to find strategic solutions. And therein lies the jewel of Africa and it can be made to work. Zimbabwe has a lot of potential. We have got animals, we have got game parks, and also, of course, the Victoria Falls, which is everybody knows. Zimbabwe is uncharted territory. If I had to convince someone to come here, I would say come here for the sun, the hospitality, the entertainment, the nightlife. Our culture and music, it's all intertwined. We love to dance, we love to play. It's a way of life. Come to Zimbabwe. Come visit this world of wonders, the gem that we call Zimbabwe.